All right, what's up, everybody? How are we doing? Uh, welcome back. This is video lesson 2.3. We are moving on with transformations. Uh, today, we're going to be diving deep and looking into the rules uh, of rotations. Rotations is what we're doing. Here's a quick little warm up. If you want to pause the video, try it on your own. This is what we learned last class in 2.2 about translations and reflections. <clears throat> if we have a triangle ABC with points A is at 2, 4, B is at 7, 4, and C is at 4, 1, what are the coordinates of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime with a translation of X minus 4, Y minus 5? So all we do is just take our X coordinates and subtract 4, take our Y coordinates and subtract 5. So A, changing to A prime, 2 minus 4 is going to give us negative 2. Our Y number is 4 minus 5 is going to end up being negative 1. So that's our coordinate for A prime. B, 7, 4, if we subtract 4 and subtract 5, 7 minus 4 gives us 3, and 4 minus 5, again, gives us negative 1. So that's the coordinates of B prime. C prime, C to C prime, C here is 4, 1. 4 minus 4 ends up being 0. 1 minus 5 ends up being negative 4. So those are your three coordinates of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime after completing the transforma translation x minus 4, y minus 5. Uh, same triangle, a little bit different coordinates. Notice we have a negative here, but it's still triangle ABC. What are the triangle coordinates of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime with a reflection over the Y axis? Um, I don't expect you to have the reflection rules memorized. Uh, uh, you should create some type of cheat sheet for you, but know that the rule of reflecting over the Y axis is XY changes to negative X. Y. So all we do is take our X values and switch the signs. So A to A prime, 2 becomes negative 2. B to B prime, negative 7 becomes positive 7. And C to C prime, positive 4 becomes negative 4. Right? And our rule says that Y stays the same, so we just take the same values. For A to A prime, the Y value stays 4. For B to B prime, the Y value stays 4. And for C to C prime, the Y value stays 1. So that's a quick review of what you learned last lesson. Let's keep going. Our objectives today is to understand, identify, and perform rotations. Uh, if you want to pause this video and find, um, go into the slides on Canvas, you can click on this link to do a quick Khan Academy video. Just to remember on Canvas, if we take a look uh, here on the home page, I know this is period three, but it's all the same. I have uploaded the chapter two notes and uploaded the, or sorry, 2.3 notes and 2.3 PowerPoint. So if you want to watch that Khan Academy video, you can click here on the link to see the PowerPoint. Um, also remember here are the notes, either print these out to write on them, uh, download them to type on them, but here are the notes that go with 2.3. <clears throat> Quick review, isometric transformations, they do not change in shape or size. The three types of isometric transformations are translation, reflection, and rotation. Translation and reflection we learned about in 2.2. Translation moves a certain distance in the X and the Y directions. It slides, it changes location. Uh, reflection is a flip over a certain line of reflection. It's like a mirror or opposites. And today rotation is a circular movement around a fixed central Point. You can think of it as a spin, a turn, an orbit. Uh, refresh on quadrants. This is something that you should have learned in Algebra 1 with last year with distance learning. Who knows what al all you ended up learning uh, in Algebra 1. But here is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. Uh, this is just on a normal graph. When we do rotations, we have positive rotations and negative rotations. Positive rotations move in the order of quadrants or counterclockwise, right? So uh, positive rotations will move in this direction, whereas negative rotations move in the opposite order or clockwise, right? So negative rotations will move this direction. Okay, a full rotation is 360 degrees, so that means a half rotation is 180 degrees, right? A 90 degree rotation moves one quadrant counterclockwise because notice this is a positive 90. So if we rotated a figure 90 degrees from quadrant four, it would end up in quadrant one, right? So if we had 
our pre-image here in quadrant four and we rotated it 90 degrees, it would end up here in quadrant one, right, after the rotation. Okay, so key takeaway here is positive rotations go counterclockwise, negative rotations move clockwise. That is the number one takeaway from here. Okay, uh, I really enjoy this lesson because we get to meet a, an extremely helpful friend of mine. Uh, his name is Ted. Ted is going to help us learn the rotations. Um, okay, so the way that Ted is going to help us with rotations is that we are going to focus on Ted's eyeballs, right? So we are going to have a green eyeball and we are going to have a blue eyeball. Okay. What are the coordinates of his left eye? Well, we know that the left eye is green, right? So we count them out. What's the coordinates? Over one, two, three, four, up one, two, three, four, five. All right, so the coordinates of his left eye are four comma five. Those are coordinates of his left eye. What are the coordinates of his right eye? Well, that's in blue. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. All right, the coordinates of his right eye are six comma five. All right, we are going to use these coordinates. Ted is going to do a bunch of rotations and he's going to help us figure out the rules uh, that happens when we do rotations. Okay, so this table is on the back side of your notes. Flip back and forth as we find the new rules, right? So if you take a look over here on the notes, right, this table is at the very back, right? Very back. Left eye is green, right eye is blue. The original position of his left eye and green, or sorry, left green eye and right blue eye um, are four, five, and six, five. So you can fill those in, right? Our original position is four comma five and the right eye is six comma five All right rule original position there is no rule yet we haven't done any transformations so we're going to put an a here okay good now ted is uh, done a 180 degree rotation, right? Ted has now, he was over here and now he has rotated 180 degrees. Remember that's a half rotation, okay? Um, notice when you're upside down, right? You flip, this is your right eye and this is your left eye. When you flip upside down, right? It's almost switched. So this, let me show you, right? Blue right eye is right here. Green left eye is right here. Okay, now what are the new coordinates of his eyes, right? So green, we go negative one, two, three, four, down one, two, three, four, five. So we have negative four, negative five, and the blue eye, if we count, is negative one, two, three, four, five, six, down one, two, three, four, five. So negative six, negative five. Okay, and so now what do we notice about the new coordinates? We need to compare them against the original coordinates, right? So our original, this is why it's really helpful for you guys to use that chart on the back of your notes, right? I have to unfortunately keep rewriting these, right? So the original, Okay, I wrote these in. The original coordinates were four, five, and six, five. Now the new coordinates are negative four, negative five, and negative six, negative five. Okay, what have you noticed? What has happened here? So I want you to pause the video, think, write in your notes or type in your notes. What do you notice about the coordinates? What has changed? Okay, for me, I noticed that the numbers change sign, right? Four, five changed to negative four, negative five. Both of the numbers changed to negative. Uh, the numbers stayed in the same place, right? And four and four, five and five, those are still in the same place. So now we can use that information to create what the rule is when we do a 180 degree rotation, right? Using just X and Y, not necessarily talking about the literal numbers themselves. So we notice that X, four, changed to negative four. The number stayed the same, right? But it changed the sign. So X is going to change to negative X. And Y, we notice five changed to negative five, still same number, just changed signs, changes to negative Y. And there we go, right then and there, we have created our rule for doing 180 degree rotation. X, Y changes to negative X, negative Y. 
And again, if you flip back to the notes um, or on the back of your paper, you can put in our rules here, right? Again, unfortunately, this doesn't match up. Uh, it's a lot better when we're in person and we can write on paper, right? So the original position was for five. The new position is negative four, negative five. Sorry, gentlemen just came into the room, so I had to pause the video. All right, our original blue was at six five, and now our new blue is at negative six, negative five. Remember, we didn't have a rule NA here, right? But our rule here, if we write it in a different color, our rule of the positive 180 and negative 180 is that XY changes to negative X, negative Y. And again, I apologize for the poor writing. Okay, uh, remember positive 180 and negative 180 uh, are the same thing, right? 180 is the only one where the positive and the negative ends up being in the same place. Okay, now let's see what happens when we rotate him 90 degrees. Remember, his original Ted's original location was right here. Now he's only rotated 90 degrees. This is a positive 90. So again, let's uh, identify his uh, right eye, which is in blue, is here. His left eye, which is in green, is here. Okay, same thing. Just find the new coordinates for his left eye in green. It is negative one, two, three, four, five, up one, two, three, four. All right, so our new coordinates are five, four. And in blue, new coordinates is, oh, sorry, that is negative five, four, negative five, four. And then in blue, it is negative one, two, three, four, five five up one two three four five six so negative five positive six are his new coordinates okay now compare these coordinates for 90 degrees compare them to the original all right what has changed what did we do excuse me pause and write your own observations Okay, and for me, I noticed that the numbers switch places. Our original was 4, 5. Now it's switched to negative 5, 4, right? The 4 and the 5, they stayed the same number, but then they switched places. Okay, and then also I noticed that the original Y number changes sign. Our original Y number was 5, and now it becomes negative 5. So they switch places, and the original Y number changes sign. Same thing here, right? 6, 5. The numbers switch to five, six, and then the original Y number, which was five, changes to negative. So we find out that our rule here is that X, Y changes to negative Y, X. And that is our rule for 90 degree rotation. You can fill this into your chart on the back. Remember, a positive 90 is the same thing as a negative 270, right? You need to make sure that you are, are uh, understanding the difference between our positives and our negatives, right? So you should already have those top two filled in, right? But we are going to fill in that the new coordinate of our left green eye was negative 5, 4. And our new coordinates for the blue was negative 5, 6, which means that our rule for 90 or negative 270 is that x, y changes to negative y, x. There is your rule for positive 90 and negative 270. Okay, now we go to 270 degrees. Know that 270 degrees is like doing a 90 degree rotation three times, right? We started here, we went three quarters of the way around. Positive 90, positive 180, positive 270. Also know that it is the same as a negative 90. Okay, but same thing, we need to find what are the coordinates of his left eye, what are the coordinates of his green, or his right eye, right? So green eye is here, Blue eye is here, and we just find out what those coordinates are. Of the right eye, since I'm already on blue, we go to the right, one, two, three, four, five, and we go down, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we went right, five, down, negative, six. And then if we do the same thing for the green eye, we go over one, two, three, four, five, down, one, two, three, four. So we went right, 
five, and we went down, which is negative four. Now, same thing. We still have our original coordinates, right? His eyes that were over here. Uh, compare them. What has happened? What did we change? What's the same? What's different? And write in your own observations here. What do you notice about the coordinates? Okay, for me, I noticed that the original X and Y numbers changed sign again, right? 4, 5 switched to 5, 4. 6, 5 switched to 5, 6. But yes, those switched places. And then the second thing that we notice is that the original X number changes sign, right? It was positive 4. After it switched places, it became negative 4. It was positive 6. After it switched places, it becomes negative 6, right? So our rule here is going to end up being x, y changes to, we know that the they switched places, so it's going to become y, x. And then we said that the original x number changes sign. So our rule is x, y changes to y, negative x. And same thing, we are going to put those into our last uh, call, or sorry, last row of our chart on the back of our notes. Know that it is a positive 270 and a negative 90, right? Those are the exact same things. Hold on, let me erase all this stuff. So our left eye changed to five, negative four. Our right eye changed to five, negative six, which means that our rule here is x, y changes to, uh, it was y comma negative x. All right. And by this time, you should have this entire table filled out with all of our rules. These are the three types of rotations. Remember, some of them are similar. A positive 180 is the same as a negative 180. A positive 90 is the same as a negative 270. A positive 270 is the same as a negative 90, depending on if you're going clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, and again, uh, here is the simplified chart showing you what those rules are. Uh, th remember, clockwise is all negative rotations. Counterclockwise are all positive rotations. Here are those rules. Um, you should have them in your chart as well. First of all, let's say thank you to our good friend Ted. Right, Ted is a weird dude. He just likes to uh, roll around and do some rotations, uh, but he's very helpful in helping us learn our rules for rotation. So thank you, Ted. Um, please remember, positive rotations move counterclockwise, negative rotations move clockwise, and we can figure out rules for transformations on our own because we're awesome, right? I gave you, I technically didn't give you the rules just straight up and say, here's the rules, memorize them. Uh, we were able to work through and figure that out. Okay, here's some examples. Uh, please know that uh, before we move on, I don't expect you to memorize all of these rules. Uh, again, it's another reason why taking notes is extremely important. Uh, you should have all of these rules written down in one place, uh, so that way you can always refer back and know what rule you need to complete. Right. So we are going to do 90 degree rotation counterclockwise about the origin. Right. So counterclockwise, we first need to think, is that positive or is that negative? OK, we know that counterclockwise is going to go this direction, which means it's a positive 90 degree rotation. And our rule is X, Y. Remember, I like to use T charts. X, Y changes to and if you don't remember, that's fine. Just scroll up. Right. It's not a big deal. Uh, positive 90 is x, y changes to negative y, x. So we fill that in, changes to negative y, x. And now we have a new t chart, right? We need to find the coordinates of our first shape. So we have shape B, S, and L, right? B is at coordinate 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our coordinate here is four, five. Okay, S is at over one, two, up two. Our coordinates here are two, two. And L is at one, two, three, four, five, five. And we don't go up or down, so it's zero, five, zero. Okay, and now if we put it in for our new shape, it's going to change to B prime, S prime, L 
prime. And we just follow the rule. We take all of our y numbers over here and change them to the opposite sign, right? So positive 5 becomes negative 5, positive 2 becomes negative 2, right? You can't change 0 negative, so it just stays negative, right? And our x numbers, they stay the same. 4 stays 4, 2 stays 2, and 5 stays 5. Okay, now, very key, just because our rule says that we switched the numbers and now the y is first in our t-chart, please know that when you graph this, you still graph this normally, right? Even though this is a, a y at the top of our uh, column, this is still your x value when you are graphing, okay? This up here is just for your rule. So for graphing sakes, we're going to change these back to our normal x and y. So we plot these. B prime is at negative 5, 4, so we go negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1, 2, 3, 4, plot that there, that is going to be B prime. S prime is at negative 2, positive 2, negative 2, positive 2, plot that there, that is S prime. And L prime is at 0, 5, 0, we do not go um, left or right, we just go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that there is L prime. And now we connect it and we have a beautiful, amazing new triangle that has rotated 90 degrees. Okay, rotating 180 degrees about the origin. Think, is this a positive or is it a negative? Well, let's go back and take a look, All right? Oh my goodness, look, negative and positive 180 are both the same. Our rule is x, y changes to negative x, negative y. So let's write that in. Our rule is that x, y changes to negative x, negative y. All right? We have point Q, H, and it looks like this one got cut off. So let's go with uh, T, Q, H, T which means that it is going to change into and turn into Q prime, H prime, T prime. Okay, let's write in our original coordinates. Q is at zero, negative one. I paused to cut out some time, right? H is at negative three, negative five, and T, this is T, is at negative five, negative three. Now, if we follow our rules, right, all we do is just change the sign of our values. All we do is just change the sign of our values. So all of our X numbers, we're gonna change the sign. Zero, you can't change the sign, it's still just zero. Negative three becomes positive three. Negative five becomes positive five. Right, now we take our Y numbers and we change the sign. Negative one becomes positive one. Uh, negative five becomes positive five negative three becomes positive three. And now we take those and we graph those, right? So Q prime is gonna be zero, positive one, Q prime. H prime is at three, five, over one, two, three, up one, two, three, four, five. That is H prime. And T prime is going to be at five, one, two, three, four, five, up one, two, three. That is T prime. And now we have, ladies and gentlemen, a new triangle, right? Uh, rotated exactly 180 degrees. Remember, it could have been positive 180 or negative 180. It doesn't matter. They end up in the same places for that one. Okay, last one, rotation 90 degrees clockwise. So remember, clockwise, clockwise is going to be a negative 90 degree rotation. So if you don't remember what a negative degree rotation rule is, let's take a look. Negative 90 is the same as a positive 270, and it's x, y changes to y negative x, right? So we can write that in. Clockwise is negative 90. It's also the same as a positive 270. And our rule here is that x, y, changes to y negative x. Okay, and now we have, right, nothing, we have four points, so we have a quadrilateral, but we still treat it exactly the same. We have 
uh, B M H F and we plot those coordinates. B is at negative one, two, three, four, five, up one. Okay, again, I pause the video just to take up less time. M is at negative four, negative two. H is at negative one, negative two, and F is at negative one, positive three, right? So now we just follow our rules. Notice our Y numbers are coming first now, but we don't change them. They just stay the same. So positive one stays positive one, negative two stays negative two. Uh, negative two stays negative two and three stays three. Okay, now our X numbers are coming second, but we change the sign. Notice all of these are negative. So changing the sign is gonna make them all positive. Negative five becomes positive five. Negative four becomes positive four. Negative one and negative one, both of those become positive one. And now we graph them. B prime is at one up, one, two, three, four, five. B prime. M prime is at negative two, uh, four, negative two, positive four, negative two, up one, two, three, four. That is M prime. H is negative two, positive one, negative two, positive one. There is H prime. And F prime is positive three, positive one. One, two, three, positive one. F prime. And then we have our new shape. Okay, notice they overlap a little bit, but it is a 90 degrees clockwise, right, which is that way, or a positive 270 degrees counterclockwise, which would go that direction. Okay, so those are the two same things. There's your other example. Okay, extra resources, extra credit opportunity. If you, uh, these links take you to Khan Academy practice problems. If you complete those practice problems and take a screenshot and send it to me, I will give you some extra credit. I've already had a bunch of people turn in some extra credit, which is awesome. Um, I hope you have a great day. I will see you in class. Go Mustang.